Now let's see this. John has a solution which has 60% concentrated H2SO4 and Jack's solution contains 90% water and the rest is H2SO4. They both mix their solutions. The resultant concentration of H2SO4 is 40%. Calculate the ratio in which the solution is the solution was mixed. So they are saying that there are two solutions. One solution belongs to John and the other solution belongs to Zach. Now in the in the John solution they are saying that it is containing 60% concentrated H2SO4. So generally whenever you talk about these liquids they are going to say that concentration. So what is concentration means is out of the total liquid 60% is H2SO4. Right. So what it what it means is if you assume that the total mix you no know, liquid is 100 liters out of that 100. 60% is going to be 60 liters is going to be H2SO4 and then uh, remaining is going to be some other liquid. So in general what is the other liquid here in order to get that they have even given us water. So what is how to find it out so you can write it like this see 40% water and 60% H2SO4 is present in this okay. Now these two are mixed so well that even if you take N1 liters from this out of that N1 liters also, 60% of N1 will be H2SO4 and again 40% of that N1 will be, uh, you know, water. Okay. Now, let's see the next one. Now, they are saying that in the next one, uh, Zach solution, 90% is the water. So, what does it mean? This one is containing 90% water and so, only 10% will be H2SO4. So, this is the composition of the liquids, right? Now, they are saying that we are going to take some amount of this solution and some amount of this solution let us assume that it is in liters liters generally since it is a liquid we are talking about liters or even if you go by weight it is not an issue so now let us assume that some liters is taken from here and some liters is from taken here and now the final mixture is supposed to contain 40% H2SO4. They are saying that this final mixture whichever you are going to get has to contain 40% H2SO4 and 60% water, right? Now we are supposed to find out what are the values of uh, this, how much is the, uh, you know, late, how many liters should be taken from here and how many liters should be taken from here. If you assume that from here you are going to take N1 liters and from here you are going to take N2 liters then they are asking us what is the ratio so N1 is to N2 this is what is asked okay so see this calculate the ratio in which solution was mixed right so if you assume that N1 is from here N2 is from here N1 is to N2 you have to find it out now let us say N1 is taken from here so how to find it out is C overall concentration the final concentration depends on the final concentration depends on what is the total amount of H2SO4 present in this we can we can solve that way so if you are taking n1 liters from here I am just assuming that I am taking n1 liters from there then how much H2SO4 will I get into this final solution so only 60 percent of it will be H2SO4 and 40 percent of N1 will be water therefore the amount of H2SO4 I will get is 60 by 100 of N1 if I am taking N1 liters plus if I am taking N2 liters from here what is H2SO4 I get 10 percent only therefore from N2 liters I will get only 10 by 100 is the H2SO4. Now what is this? This is the total amount of H2SO4 I will get into this bottle. Right? Now in order to find out the concentration of H2SO4, you are supposed to find out the total amount of H2SO4 divided by total amount of liquid. Now what will be the total liquid present there? I have taken N1 from here and N2 from here. Therefore N1 plus N2 liters. Got it? Now they are saying that this final concentration has to be 40 percent right which means it is going to be 40 by 100 that is what they are saying understood this so if I take this much from first bottle and this first from second bottle I am going to get this is the concentration now if you see this it is in the allegations formula right where this is the 
you can compare it to the final average and you can compare it to the average of one group and you can compare it to the average of the other group then it is in exactly in the formula where you have seen there in allegations now what do you know in that formula if it is in this form then you can say that n1 by n2 equal to now a2 minus a1 so what is a2 minus a what is a2 okay sorry a minus a2 so which is nothing but 40 by 100 a minus a2 divided by a1 minus a so which means 60 by 100 minus 40 by 100 see i am directly writing it if you don't know how to do it you just cross multiply it and get it get the ratio i am directly writing it because we have already derived it okay now what is it going to be 30 by 20 30 by 20 which means 3 is to 2 so that is the answer this is one way of solving it and the other way of solving it is if you can see that this is the allegations formula which we have seen earlier then you could write it in the diagram form and also do it right so how, how are you going to write the diagram form higher average here 60 by 100 and then the overall the final average here so what is the final average 40 by 100 and then the lower average on the other side so which is 10 by 100 okay now find out the difference here and find out the difference here so if you find out the difference it is going to be 20 if you find out the difference it is going to be 30 therefore n1 here and n2 here so n1 is to n2 equal to 3 is to 2 even there you are going to get it now uh, instead of taking only HTSO4 you could have even taken water and you could have you know done the question same question which means here you have 40 percent water 90 percent water and finally you are supposed to get 60 percent water right even if you have taken that you know you, will, you are going to get the same one right so what is the meaning of it if you take the liqu liquids in any of these ratios which means 3 liters 2 liters or 30 liters 20 liters you are going to get the concentration as 60 percent or 40 percent hso4 finally right okay Hi. if you are planning to do masters then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in india i'll give you all the reasons so first reason is out of one lakh students who take gate every year there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply. And statement of purpose building and then LOR guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral, which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days. And whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting a, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join Game of Visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate.
and these are all the destinations that we guide the students to so we guide students to any country that you want to go so now it is not just usa we guide to uk germany australia canada so we guide we guide students to all the countries we work with all the destinations and if you are interested in going abroad you have to just drop us a message on this whatsapp number 9494554454 okay thank you